What is good, YouTube? This is SG1 Sports, and you are tuned in to our college football channel. Today, I will be giving my opinion on who the top three quarterbacks in the Big Ten will be this year. There's a ton of returning talent in the Big Ten this year, and with the Big Ten getting a huge shakeup soon, there's destined to be even more talent in the future. In this video, we are going to go over who I can see being the Big Ten's top three quarterbacks this year. Honorable mention number one, Hudson Card. He did get benched in favor of Quinn Ewers early last season, but he was critical to the Longhorn success after Ewers went down with injury. He finished the season completing just under 70% of his passes, threw for 928 yards and six touchdowns. This year, he'll have new targets in redshirt senior Marshawn Rice and TJ Sheffield to throw the ball to. I see him expanding on what has already been a solid college career. This was a huge portal acquisition for QBU, and the ceiling for him is extremely high this year. Honorable mention number two, Cade McAmara. The former Michigan gunslinger landed with the Hawkeyes this offseason. He looks to lead what has been a historically bad uh, historically mediocre Iowa offense to greatness this season. Uh, with running back Caleb Johnson, wide out Deontay Vines, and a solid O-line, he does have the weapons around him to turn this offense around. And he's shown flashes before, like leading Michigan to the Big Ten Championship in 2021. However, he did have season-ending knee surgery in 2022, and that could limit his production still a little bit this year. I would really love to see him ball out so I can move him up this list. All right, now we're starting with the actual list. Coming in at number three, who I think will be the third best quarterback in the whole Big Ten this year, Talua Tagovailoa. You won't find a much more seasoned quarterback than Tagovailoa in the Big Ten. I see him bouncing back from his sophomore slump, where he only had 18 touchdowns last season. He'll be counting on his own line, who was anchored by the stud, Eric Harris. Having a good running game behind him will be a huge need. I think Hemby can help take the pressure off a tag of Aloha. Tolua will be a critical part of a Maryland team that can be sneaky good if he can bounce back the way I project him to. And then at number two, my second best quarterback in the whole Big Ten this year, J.J. McCarthy. I'm just waiting for the many people in the comments that are probably going to shout that I'm wrong for not putting him first. Say what you want, but do I really need to remind y'all of the TCU game? He just doesn't have that clutch gene just yet. He has the team around him, but he hasn't shown me that he is really a truly elite talent yet. His deep ball struggles and red zone ineffectiveness has been well documented. I hope that he's worked on that heavy over the offseason. I wanted to put him number one, honestly. He's a Michigan player. I couldn't have put him number one, though, you know? No, I'm just playing. But there is someone way more deserving coming up next. Number one, Tanner Mordecai. Okay, I will admit, I'm fully buying into the Wisconsin hype with this pick. Last season at SMU, Mordecai threw for more than 3,500 yards, 33 touchdowns, and 10 interceptions. But this isn't about last season. I fully expect him to stay around or improve on those numbers this year as a Badger. I think he will fit into the scheme perfectly, and he has some great talent on the O-line, great receivers around him, great running back, just a balanced offense that will really he will really benefit from. And if that's the case, not only will he be the best Big Ten quarterback, but he also may have just been the biggest portal pickup of the entire year. So do you agree or disagree with my opinions on the top three quarterbacks in the Big Ten this year? Let me know in the comments down below. And like always, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe, turn the notifications on. This has been SG1 Sports. Thank you for tuning in to our college football channel.